The Ugly Duckling by Mara Alperin. Illustrated by Sue Eastland. When you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. It was a sunny spring morning in the farmyard. Mother Duck sat proudly on her nest. Come quickly, she called to the other animals. My eggs are beginning to hatch. Crack, 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 crack. Out tumbled four perfect little ducklings. They were soft and fluffy and yellow. Ooh! Lovely! Aren't they just the sweetest ducklings ever? Oinked the pig. <coughs> cheep! Cheep! Chirped the baby ducklings. And Mother Duck gave them a big cuddle. But there was one egg left. It was bigger than the others and strangely speckled. Then it began to crack open. Out popped two funny feet, two wobbly wings, and one bumpy beak. Mother Duck gasped. He didn't look at all like her other baby ducklings. What a strange little creature. Such a funny color. He's a very ugly duckling, snorted the pig. Hush, scolded Mother Duck. He's my baby and I love him. Now come along, children. It's time for your first swimming lesson. Mother Duck marched towards the pond, and four little ducklings skipped along behind. Wait for me, called the ugly duckling. But he tripped over his funny feet and thump. Bump, thump, bump. He tumbled into the other little ducklings. How clumsy. Never mind, said Mother Duck. Now into the water like good little ducklings. Let's sing our duckling song, Mother Duck called. Quackity quack quack, quack quack, chanted the four little ducklings. Honkity honk, the ugly duckling sang happily. What's that? hooted the horse. You don't sing like a duckling. Now, now, said Mother Duck. He'll learn in time. But the ugly duckling didn't learn. And all summer long, the other animals teased him when he got stuck in things, tripped over things, and made an enormous mess. How embarrassing! No matter how hard he tried, the ugly duckling just didn't fit in. Why don't you go away? squawked the other little ducklings. You're noisy and messy, and you're ruining our fun. Just then, they heard Mother Duck calling for her children. Not you, shouted the ducklings. And off they pranced, leaving the ugly duckling behind. Oh, why does no one want to play with me? sighed the ugly duckling. No time to play. 
said a mole, popping his head up. I'm digging a new tunnel for the winter. Can I help? asked the ugly duckling, and he poked his bumpy beak underground. Where are you, my little one? quacked Mother Duck. We can't wait any longer. It's time to fly south for the winter. I'm coming! cried the ugly duckling. Wait for me! But the ugly duckling was stuck in the tunnel, and Mother Duck couldn't hear him. The ugly duckling wriggled and wiggled, and he pushed and he pulled until... Pop! At last he was free. But it was too late. They had left without him. Oh no, sniffed the ugly duckling. I'll never catch up to them now. I'm all alone. The days and nights grew colder and the ugly duckling sheltered in the hollow of an old oak tree. And as the snowflakes fell, he curled up in his long wings and dreamed of sunny days and games in the meadow. At last, the sun peeked out and the frozen pond began to thaw. Then one day, a beautiful swan glided across the sparkling water. The ugly duckling peeked out from behind the reeds. I wish I could go and swim with her, he said, but I'm too ugly to be her friend. And he gave a little sob. Who's there? called the swan. Come out and play. I can't whispered the ugly duckling. I'm too funny looking and everybody laughs at me. I won't laugh, promised the swan. I don't mind how you look. So the ugly duckling took a deep breath and stepped outside. But you're beautiful! exclaimed the swan. Look! And he looked down at his reflection and saw that she was right. The ugly duckling had grown into a swan. A beautiful, elegant swan with dazzling white feathers and a long, graceful neck. So they played together all day. He was very happy indeed. At last, he was as beautiful on the outside as he was on the inside. And best of all, he had a friend. <laughs>